Hey guys, Budget Girl here, Katrina. Um, so today I'm going to show you typically how my five-year-old would make his bed. Um, he does normally do this. Um, he, however, is not here today, so I will be making his bed for him for today. Um, so um, he left with his grandma. So today um, we're going to start off with this blanket right here, the one that you see. And underneath is the similar comforter. So he has the comforter and then he has the plank. Just like that, we're going to do corner to corner. Like that. And then from there, we will be putting his Thomas the Train pillow. We did fold it in half. Instead of putting it like that, we actually turn it to the side to um, give a little more room. Um, he typically does like it like that, but I don't know, it's just hard. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and leave it like that. We, uh, we like to switch out the pillows a little bit either way. Um, so. Has this Thomas the Train pet pillow or pillow pet? And then he has a seal pillow pet as well. And then he's got this large Paw Patrol. And unfortunately, my camera stand broke, so I will have to pause this and then put it on the bed real quick. Okay, so he can typically sleep with um, four things of stuffed animals. Um, this one not automatically, automatically goes on his bed until I can find some other bin to fit him in because he's a, a big guy. Um, this is normally what I do keep all of his, uh, all of his stuffed animals in. It's this Dollar Tree, uh, circle bin. It's not quite big enough as you can see to um hold everything um, yeah because underneath he's got another gorilla he's got a stuffed bear and his valentine monkey and his rustler plus he's got this frog and then a super marshal and a chase which these two do go on his bed so chase goes right here on the mr frog's lap like that so his bed ends up looking like this at the end of the time that it's made and then super marshall just sits on his other side just like that and so when he's ready for bed he'll either sleep on the thomas head or whatever um and then also i want to point out that i don't I don't make him put this all the way on. So it's halfway on, halfway off. Just for the simple fact that it gets hot up here as we're on the upstairs level. So um, he can fold his clothes or fold his blanket and put it on the bed like that. I do help him. I don't allow him to do it by himself at all. By any means. But at the end of the t um, the day, this is what his bed ends up looking like not really at the end of the day but the end of the time that he is done this is what his bed looks like and that is how we stay productive through the day and then we take this tote it's kind of like a tor toy rotation type thing he can rotate his stuffed animals and things um each night so and then we have this monkey left or, um, dog, not monkey. And so this typically likes to lay right here. Just like that. Okay, and then after we're done making the bed, we go into our closet. And this little circular t um, bin up here sits up there just like that and then when he's ready we just grab it and then pull it down when he's ready um so yeah that's how we 
stay productive through the day and then my bed is made as well in the morning um it is kind of wrinkly today but that's how it goes all right and then i don't recommend this for anybody but it works well for me and my system so this is my pajamas right here and i usually just lay them at the head of my bed that way when i need to get ready for bed at night then it's right there on my bed and then i put my pillows underneath the blanket because my pillows um cases don't always match um because we do tend to get hand-me-downs and, and things so we hardly ever have matching you know pillow cases so this is how we do it we always put this over there and then they can't see our pillows and plus we don't have a headboard right now so this kind of works in our favor as well and that is how we start off our day we start off our day by making the beds and then um clean up our bedroom